Hello Masoka Universe! The new Eredivisie season started with Groningen thumping fellow promoted team Breda 4-1 at home. What a time to come back. Then this was followed on the next day by Feyenoord dropping points at home to the other promoted team Willem Dwey only a 1-1 conceding a late equalizer through Vaison in the 82nd minute. Twente got an impressive away win 2-1 at Nijmegen, a team that was really good. Last season we also had AZ getting a 1-0 away win at Almere. The big result though was PSV beating Valwijk 5-1 in a ridiculously open game where both teams could have scored already within the first four minutes. In the end quality shone through, Bakayoko, Scouten and Tillman gave PSV a 3-0 halftime lead. Lozano adds two more, however Van der Venne pulled one back for Nijmegen. And then to round out the round we had Utrecht beating Zwolle 1-0 and Ajax getting a 1-0 over Herrenveen with Linsen scoring the winning goal just before half time, but it was not a glorious win by any measure. Sporting started a new Liga Portugal season in very convincing fashion with Gonçalves scoring two goals already in the first half. First one assisted by Gürker, second one taking advantage of a goalkeeping playout mistake that he then puts nicely into the top corner. Gürkeres adds a third midway through the second half and with the only chance of the entire game Clayton pulls one back for Rio Ave, but this was rather convincing by Sporting. Also emphatic was Porto's 3-0 win over Gilles Vicente starting well into the post Pepe era. However, there were two penalties, the first one converted by Galeno and then the 3-0 was by Dani Namajo. There was also a red card for Gilles Vicente later on. First place after the first round, yes, makes little sense, goes to Santa Clara, newly promoted, going to Estoril, finds himself one in a high, but turn around, 4-1 win. Rather remarkable, and they finally don't have a crest that looks like Benfica's. Speaking of which, Benfica had another hurry start to the season, losing 2-0 to Family Cow, finding themselves down early through Sorriso in the 12th minute and then having not enough chances to equalize. Maybe there was a Di Maria free kick? Not much more than that. Late on, Family Cow were pressing, hitting the inside of the post and then Yusuf makes it a 2-0 scoreline. And finally, Braga also dropped points with Estrela de Amadora, only 1-1. The game came alive in the second half where Braga take lead through El Wazani, however they cannot double it. Then Nani comes on and the game turns. He scores a goal that is called for offside, however then Kikas in the 80th minute gets Estrela an equalizer that was in the end well deserved. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!